Hello everyone. This is this is this is funny actually because this is take three uh, today. My two phone calls cut me off, um, but it's all good. What I was saying, what I have been saying is, training's going well. Waiting for Eddie to ring uh, regarding 15 for the 22nd. Then we'll that fight and leads on to Bramall Lane. That is the original plan. I think that's still the plan. Sparring Dave Howe tomorrow. Who I fought last time. I think Dave Howe's fighting Daniel Dubois in his debut. Dubois. Spar Dubois, um, when I was going to box Dylan White, very Frank Bruno S, very very strong, very good job. I think I think Dubois will go a long way. I think I think David Howe is a very good opponent for his debut. Uh, Dave Howe can box, very big man, um, good, very good. And I'm sparring Michael Webster from South Bank, up in Middlesbrough on Thursday. I boxed him in the Boys Club quarterfinals 2011, so it'd be nice to see him. So yeah, everything's going well. Um, my end. So I was going to go through some questions. Now, I've got quite a few, which is nice. People are watching and and stuff. So we'll start with Cray at Shrewdy Punter. For the diary tomorrow, I would like to answer who's the most undervalued British boxer current and past. And Craig's answer was Carl Thompson. Now, Carl Thompson was probably a little bit before my time. It was a long way before my time watching boxing, so I didn't get into it until I was a little bit older. But I've watched a fight about with Ezra Sellers, the Sebastian Rothman fight. The Eubank fights, even the Hay fight, you know, he was a great fighter, you know, um, undervalued. I'm not sure, because a little bit more before my time, but in the past, most undervalued boxer. I've not really been into boxing long enough and watched enough of it to tell you in, in the past. But currently, the most undervalued, underappreciated, I would say, which leads me on to my next question, would be Tyrone Nurse. I watched Tyrone Nurse spar the other day, and Tyrone Nurse for me, alongside maybe Liam Walsh, who maybe is a little bit underappreciated and undervalued as well by some people, maybe because he fights on Box Nation, maybe because he doesn't have the big hoo-ha around him like other fighters. I think I think Tyrone Nurse could possibly be the best boxer in Britain that we've got. Now I'm aware he's not the biggest punch in the world, which is maybe why. If Tyrone Nurse could punch, I think Tyrone Nurse would be a world champion without a question. So I'm gonna say Tyrone Nurse for me, I just think he's an outstanding talent and and I think Liam Walsh is as well. And I think I know Liam Walsh could fight Javante Davis, but and I think Javante Davis is probably people are saying he's one of the best young fighters in the world, but Liam Walsh for me also is a very good fighter. So yeah, I'm gonna go Tyrone Nurse. In the past, I don't know, you know. I don't know, I'm not I'm not really watched boxing long enough to give you a, a proper answer on that. But my next question is from Mikey at Analyze Boxing. Who would win right now, Ricky Burns or Tyrone Nurse? Which I'll say it led me on to that. I think it's difficult to say, you know, because Tyrone Nurse, like I've just said, I think he's one of the best pure best boxers we've got in the country right now. He's everything's just he's just a natural you know, he's had 30, 38 fights, I think, one thirty six. And a lot of them fights in his career were against, you know, what we'd call journeyman or easy, easy touches, but it's all that ring time. Because he doesn't punch so hard, he has ring time, and it's just his timing and his punch selection and everything is just immaculate. I just think, I think he's a wonderful fighter, but would he beat Ricky Burns? I'm not sure he'd be hard enough to, 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 to let Ricky Burns, but I don't think Ricky Burns would give him a second because he'd have no respect for his power. So I would edge towards Ricky Burns because Ricky Burns, for talent, Boxing ability is not on Tyrone Nurse's level, but Ricky Burns is fucking hard man, and he's fit, experienced at the highest level. So I go towards, I just towards Ricky Burns, to be honest. A le a clip, I can't even say that, but I can't even say his at thing. But anyway, he says, give me your top ten pound for pound list tomorrow. I can't give you a list. I can just throw some names out there. Obviously, you've got Golovkin, Kovalev, Ward, Lomachenko, Rigondeau, Crawford. Um, you'd probably have to put Furman up there now with that Garcia win. He's probably the main man at 147. Kellen Spence winning, possibly. Uh, Tyson Fury, if, if, if we're counting him, if he's around, he's in one heavyweight. And so, yeah, you know, I think I might name 10 there. I can't put him in order for you because I don't know. Maybe Roman Gonzalez as well. Last question is from James Lupton from Round 8 Boxing. For the diary, based on Mar Marcus Morrison's last fight. Many height jobs I'll tell you about. Whether Marcus Morrison profitable for promoters, I, w I won't like to say Marcus Morrison's a height job. You know, I just 
He's with I think Joe Gallagher. I think I think the reason Marcus Morrison has so much airtime, whatever else, Joe Gallagher really rates him. And you can see Marcus Morrison's got a lot of talent, but I just think the way he was maybe match mate, maybe was matched up before. You know, Jason Wellborn is only a welterweight, as long as he's been stopped at welterweight by Frankie Gavin, so doesn't really bode well for a for a big middleweight to be losing to Jason Wellborn. Well, Jason Wilborn's a very good fighter, maybe even more comfortable middleweight, I don't know. But why are they so mar why are they marketable and profitable? I don't think I don't really think he is marketable and profitable for Matchroom right now. But maybe the thought he was gonna be that's, that's the only thing I can say. I don't know. I'm I'm not a promoter and I, I don't I don't I don't really know these things, but you know, good luck to Marcus Morrison, he took one overnight in. He really toughed it out on Jason Wilborn, great result for him. So so yeah. Day six done. Dusted. Catch you tomorrow.